Uh, this doesn't have any number plugging in, but let me just do that because um, this has a bit of, um, I'm pretty sure this is a string type question because um, I'm giving you rather long uh, format hint, um, which probably means you kind of have to enter it in a very specific way. So, um, so uh, the thing that you need to understand here is uh, we have, you have a Californium an element, and it says it's undergoing alpha decay. And as you will see in it, it's covered in section uh, 10.4. Um, you have to understand with the different types of nuclear decays, what changes and what doesn't change. With the beta decay, the mass number doesn't change, but the charge quantities will change. Um, because with the beta decay, if it's just regular beta decay, not beta plus, <laughs> then one of the neutrons have turned into proton emitting an electron. With the alpha decay, uh, both the mass number and the charge number will change. Alpha decay is basically splitting of the atomic nucleus into a smaller one and the really most compact atomic nucleus that can form alpha particle or helium-4 nucleus. So this number, mass number will change from 249 to 245. And uh, whatever atomic number California has, it'll go down by two because two protons will split up. So it's gonna be California 249 to something, something that I need to look up, <laughs> plus the alpha particle, which would be helium, um, well, I guess I could have typed it in as alpha, but I'm pretty sure helium-4 will also be accepted as correct. Um, so, so with that, I need to look up <laughs> my uh, periodic table to see this is my Californium. Um, so I'm gonna go down in atomic uh, number by two, CM, whatever that is. Curium, oh, that's after Madame Cur uh, 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 Mary Curie. So. Uh, I'm pretty sure. So curium, so this should be CN96. Oh, sorry, uh, not 96, CN, which has atomic number 96. Once you say it's curium, then that's implied. What I need is the mass number here. So it should be 245. So that should be it. Um, now, because I think this will be accepted as correct, um, I guess whatever I do, it'll just be accepted as correct. All right, I'll just enter it this way. And um, I think I programmed in several possibilities so that if you put this as a helium-4, that should be accepted as correct. But um, if you do something silly like this, then, you know, then it won't be correct. So, um, oh, how did I get partial credit? Um, um, and if you add other silly stuff like, electron then it also won't shouldn't be graded as correct okay um okay um it says find the energy released in the decay um yeah okay so we need to look up the necessary masses of the particles or one of the things you can do is um not that i'm telling you to i'm not that i'm recommending that you do this but as long as you're using Wolfram Alpha, you can actually do the entire calculation in Wolfram Alpha. So what you would be doing is uh, energy released. So I'm taking mass of California to 49 and subtracting off mass of um, a curium to 45 plus mass of helium four. Um, and the thing that I was talking about before with the, the electron mass, in this calculation, it's just gonna work out. You know, Californium does have two more electrons than curium does. But when I'm looking up the mass of helium-4 that includes those electrons, so it's just gonna work out. The difference will cancel out anyway. So, um, and I guess if I technically, I can do this times c squared. Um, so this is the mass difference calculation times c squared will give me rest energy. And I think Wolfram Alpha might be smart enough to actually give me the, the energy in the unit that's convenient. Let's see here. Um, oh, 
jump cork. Yeah, that's not what I want. Speed of light. <laughs> Wolfram Alpha is smart, but not, you know, as smart as human beings. Um, there it is. So, okay, <laughs> this time it understood me correctly. And uh, this is the unit I want. Six point, um, I guess I'll put in three zero. Uh, 6.30 mega electron volts. And note how um, if you somehow missed the mass of electron that actually matters here, because it makes a difference of, you know, is it 6.3 electron mass? That's a 0 0.5 mega electron volt. So it's a significant difference in terms of talking about the energy released here. And yeah, the, the system, I don't have submit button anymore, so I can't say that, but yeah. So just be careful when you're entering the thing here. And yeah, yeah, I, I think I um, accounted for all, most uh, uh, possibilities there. So it should be fine. But you know, if you run into any difficulties, contact me, let me know and I'll either troubleshoot it with you or fix it. 